Sample problem 3.3 is another conversion problem. It reads, iron is the main component of steel and is therefore the most important metal in society. It is also essential in the body. How many iron atoms are in 95.8 grams of iron? So again, our first step, we're going to write down what we know. I know that I have 95.8 grams of iron, and they want to know the number of iron atoms. And in the previous problem, I just mentioned that we could use this number as a clue. Anytime they're asking for the number of things, I know I'm going to have to use Avogadro's number as a conversion factor. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. 6.022 times 10 to the 23 entities per mole. Now, notice the units there. Avogadro's number relates moles to the number of things, to entities. I have been given grams here. So Avogadro's number is not going to be enough to answer this question. So I have to ask myself, is you know, what multiple conversion factors am I going to have to use to answer this question? So in other words, what relates grams to moles so that I can relate moles to entities using Avogadro's number? And remember I told you in a previous video that the units on the periodic table are in grams per mole. So I can use the molar mass of iron to get me from grams to moles. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Iron is number 26 on the periodic table. And I'm looking and it says that this it weighs 55.85 grams of iron in one mole of iron. Now, notice I put grams on the bottom because I had grams on the top. So let's, let's see here. I've got grams divided by grams. That's going to cancel and equal one. Now, I'm going to keep going with my T here because I want to get to the number of iron atoms. Now, I've I'm, I'm got moles, so now I can use that Avogadro's number, right? It will get me directly from moles to entities. So in one mole... Of iron. Avogadro's number tells me there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 iron atoms. Okay, and so let's see here. Let's do our units. I've got moles in the top, moles in the bottom. They're going to cancel. I'm going to be left with the number of iron atoms, which is what the question was asking for. So sometimes it's not as simple as just going using one conversion factor. You know, sometimes we don't have one that relates the two units we're trying to figure out, so we have to use more than one conversion factor like we did in this problem. So let me go ahead and type this in my calculator. I've got 95.8, and be sure to use parentheses on this problem because you could get it wrong if you don't. So I'm going to put everything in the top in parentheses, 95.8, times 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23, close parentheses, divided by my 55.85 equals, and I got 1.03 times 10 to the 24 iron atoms. Let me put my box there.